Welcome to Plowman's Backyard. My name is Kendra and today we're going to be talking about five reasons why your eggs didn't hatch. Recently we actually put about 33 eggs in our incubator. We have two incubators now. Surprisingly we only hatched out we have four baby chicks. Now normally we get a good hatch rate but there are times when hatch rates don't always go according to plan and that's exactly what happened. So at a 33 we got four chicks which we're still really happy we've got four but a little disappointed that we didn't get more. We had plans for those 33 um, that we had some people that were wanting some baby like day old chicks from us. So it was a little disappointing in that way for them as well. These guys are a about I want to say about two weeks old now so they're just getting their feathers on but we were wondering because the, in the past years we've had such good success rate so I'm just going to cover um, some basic reasons on why your eggs didn't hatch into chicks because a lot of people are commenting on some of our videos you know that their their eggs didn't hatch or they were had um, fully developed chickens but they didn't um, crack through the egg so we're going to cover five reasons on why that might be happening and it's a good way for you to find out and find out like what stage and what step something went wrong with your incubator or maybe it's not your incubator but maybe it's your chickens. One of the first reasons why your eggs may not have hatched is because of infertile eggs. So basically you can have too many roosters, too few roosters, infertile roosters, old roosters, sterile roosters, not enough nutrition in your flock. Roosters that fight with each other instead of mating we actually experienced that this spring and we had to take some of our roosters and separate them and make some mini flocks so that there was more mating going on so that we could hatch our eggs instead of um, the roosters fighting just amongst themselves because oftentimes they can get very territorial if they don't have enough hens for the, each other and then what happens is that you end up with infertile eggs because there's no mating going on and they're preoccupied fighting with each other. The number Two reason why your eggs may not be hatching is that there's no sign of life when you're candling. Candling is a really important way to check the progress of your eggs during incubation. And if you find within the first week of incubation that there's no signs of life, it could mean that your flock have improper nutrition or overheating your temperature, which means that your temperature within your incubator has been too high. The other reason for no sign of life could be from the fact that there is inbreeding going on in your chickens. I know that something that um, is not talked about a lot and something that I don't fully understand, but I do know some basics. So you don't want a lot of inbreeding going on in your flock, which can happen with like a barnyard mix like I have, is you don't want the brothers and sisters to be mating with each other. You can breed back a daughter back to the father if you have to, but basically bringing in new blood into your flock um, so if you have a certain type of breed of chicken that you're wanting to keep up and you've been breeding with the one rooster for a while like we have, um, bringing in new blood from maybe somebody you know or a farmer or somewhere that has the same type of rooster if you really like your rooster, getting it, bringing in a new rooster to your flock every couple years is a really good idea to prevent the inbreeding. The other thing is if you have a setup where you can have multiple pens and multiple coops is to alternate switching out your roosters between your flocks which means that every few years you move one rooster into another pen and vice versa and move that rooster in with um, the other ones. Again keeping track of um, the daughters and the brothers and sisters. So that could be a reason why your eggs are a bit infertile. The third reason of why your chicks have not hatched could be the fact that you may have a rotten egg in your incubator. Now you're wondering how did that get there or the fact that you have checked your incubator and you know there's a rotten egg because it is stinky. So the reason why you might have a rotten egg is again the temperature and humidity has been off on your incubator and your incubating time. 
It could be um, your temperature's too high or your temperature's too low. The other reason is leaving your eggs too long before you incubate them. Say you have a small flock, you might only get three eggs a day and you're collecting your eggs and you want to fill like your 20 egg incubator, your 30 egg incubator. Those eggs that you've gathered previous and you've saved up to get your 20 or 30 eggs, those beginning eggs are probably going to turn out to be rotten eggs because you want to use your eggs within seven days of them being laid from your hen. So you don't want to keep continuing to store your eggs um, for a long period of time and then incubating them. You have a higher percentage of a hatch rate if you incubate the eggs the day they're hatched. Now that being said, you can still hatch a five day old egg that's been laid, but if to increase your hatch rate, definitely do the best you can to use the freshest eggs possible. The other reason why you could have a rotten egg could be your ventilation in your incubator. So one reason is eggs are very porous. The shells of eggs are very porous, which means even though your eggs are shut in the incubator, your poor chicks still need oxygen and they're able to get oxygen through the porous shells that they have. Just check your ventilation. Um, most incubators have a hole for um, oxygen. Others have a little door like ours do where you can open it up for 10 to 15 minutes a day. The other reason for um, a rotten egg in your incubator could be that there is improper turning of your eggs. So if you have an automatic egg turner like we do, um, it could be that your egg turner is broken, something in the mechanism, or the fact maybe you have to turn your eggs yourself, which I've also done in the past. And you wanna make sure that you're not just turning those eggs once a day, but possibly turning them anywhere between three and four times a day. Because when those eggs are turning, um, they could get stagnant and they need to be turned for proper development of the chick inside the egg. So the fourth reason why your eggs did not hatch could be that perhaps you've gotten to your 21 days and you've noticed that your chickens did not hatch, they did not peep through the shell, but for some reason the chick is fully developed but did not hatch. The reason for that is that your humidity level was too low at lockdown stage. So around day 18 when you're locking down your incubator, that is a time when it needs to be at a high humidity level to prepare the membrane and the egg shell to soften it up so that your chick can um, hatch through the egg. So what happens is sometimes if your chicks don't peep through, the egg has not become soft enough and your humidity level was too low in your incubator during the lockdown stage of your incubation, possibly around the 18th day. So the fifth reason why your chick did not hatch is similar to the fourth reason. But in this case, instead of the no pipping, there was pipping in the fifth stage. So this is where your chick had tried to get through and you may see a little hole with a little beak peeping through and it didn't end up finishing. It couldn't get out of the egg. And when you've checked this egg and you've checked your chick, it's fully developed, but the membrane is so dry that the chick cannot get out. Oftentimes, this is a stage where I try and help a little bit. Some chicks get out. I have successfully hatched out three chicks that remained living over the course of the last few years at this stage where they have a hard time getting through. And this is because the humidity level is too low on the day of hatching. So the difference is basically where they're almost vacuum sealed in and there's no moisture and sometimes the chicks can try to get out but their shell stuck to their um, little fur or little feathers. And what happened is that there was not enough moisture on day 21 for that chick to get out easily. So at this point, this is a stage where you can help them but you gotta be really gentle and you gotta take your time. You can't just rip them open 
um, and have the chick out. It needs time to um, strengthen itself to get out of the egg. But um, there definitely needs to be a high humidity level on the day of hatch. So the shrink wrap chick at this stage that's peeping through your egg and it didn't successfully get out and died is because your humidity level was too low on day 21. So those are the reasons, um, just a few actually, there's lots more reasons, but those are just the common few of reasons why your chicks did not hatch. So I would suggest um, as a recommendation is to make sure that you're candling your eggs. I generally like to candle my eggs around day five or day six then around day nine or 10, and then again at lockdown day. So around 18, when I'm gonna take out the rollers um, and lock down my incubator is the last time I candle my eggs. The reason for this is you're getting each of those steps in the progress of your eggs and you're seeing where something may be going wrong. So if you've candled your eggs around day five or day six, and you notice that there's no growth, there's no veining in your eggs, it could be that your uh, temperature in your incubator is too high, or it could be a fertility issue. Um, then again, if you're checking everything is normal, good and fine, and you're checking on day 10, and then there's development, but it's stopped, you know it's your incubator and not your fertility rate. And then you can go back and see where you went wrong during that five day period and you can see where you went wrong. Maybe the humidity level was too high. Maybe your temperature was too high or too low. And then maybe you got to day 10 and there was proper development. And then when you checked at day 18 on lockdown day, again, maybe there was no movement in your egg because you should see a lot of movement in your egg by then. You should also see the air sac um, at the bottom of the egg. And if you're not seeing that, you know then from day 10 to day 18, something went wrong. Again, another time to check maybe something went wrong with the incubator, maybe something was wrong with the turners, but those periods, those last two um, sections are not an indication of infertility issues, but a, another, it's an indication on how the process of your temperature and humidity went. So I hope this video has helped you just kind of figure out what has went wrong with your hatching. Again, we've been doing really great with our hatch rates here at Plowman's Backyard for the last few years, but for some reason this year, we didn't have such great success and I'm here to share with you that not every year is going to be successful not every year is going to be the same but I want to encourage you to keep going and keep trying just because something fails one time or one year doesn't mean it's going to happen again but we even make mistakes here and sometimes we get things wrong and sometimes the machines stop working it's just uh, the way that life goes but um, I hope that this has helped you and encouraged you to know that you're not alone, that even me here make mistakes too and don't always have the best success um, hatch rate. But we want to thank you for joining us. Um, I hope that you've always been finding our videos helpful and um, educational to some degree and entertaining in others. So thank you for joining us. And until next time, keep hatching.